So, well, yes. in fact, let me add to that. God assures, God assures in Quran about 16 times, I believe, that if you are a Jew or a Christian or of other faith, you need not worry about my grace. You, it is your deeds that I'm going to count on. You can count on me to recompense you for the good things you do. And even he said to Muhammad, the prophet, he said, he delivered that ayah verse that treat no other prophet less than your prophet. Yes. If God has said your prophet Muhammad is this superior most prophet among all prophets, you think Muslims would have been arrogant? They would have. God has continuously given that message not to be arrogant. Arrogant builds, uh, creates conflicts, whereas humility builds bridges. Quran is repeatedly doing this. And I wish most Muslims can focus on these teachings of Quran that builds you to be a better human. And uh, I'm glad I was an atheist for a long time. I walked away from Islam because of the wrong translations of Quran I had read for years. And I can understand many of the evangelicals are Terry guy who wanted to burn Quran. They all have read the wrong translation of Quran. And that is the reason there is so much ill will. But we need as Muslims to let them know that there is a wrong translation. And there are 24 other translations of Quran in English that are right. One translation, two. One was translated during the, just before the Crusades, where the Christian kings were afraid of the Arabs invading them. So they hid them in the belt by mistranslating the Quran. If you heard the term Muhammadan, Muhammadan cult, that was the first time that were, uh, the phrase was coined in 1142 to frighten the Europeans that Mohammedan cult is a bad cult, they're going to come and slaughter you. So they got their subject to be riled up against Muslims. In 1924, Muhammad Hilali Khan wrote, translated the Quran for political reasons. He inserted in the translation hatred for Jews and Christians that is not in the Quran. He inserted those words in the translation and that bloody book translation is given out freely millions of people around the world. If you are a Jew or a Christian and open the book and read the first chapter Surah Fatiha, the first six verses are beautiful. Everybody in the world will agree with in the seventh verse where it says, God help me walk the right path, not the path of, path of those who did not earn your grace or who earned your anger. That's what it says in the Arabic and 23 other translations. This Hilali Khan translation says, God help me walk the right path, not the path of those who earned your disgrace like the Christians or who earned your anger like the Jews. What would a Jew or a Christian think of Quran? God and Muslims, when he reads that, he will throw the book. He rightfully throws the book. I was reading those translations and I walked away from Islam and Quran for 30 years. But when I started finding the truth, I found out I cannot go with Islam by what Osama bin Laden says or what Hilali Khan says. I have to find the truth on my own because on the day of judgment, my mother said, I will alone be responsible for my accounts. Neither my prophet, nor my teacher, nor my mother, my children's spouse will be there for me. Each one is busy with their own accountability. So if I am accountable for my action, I better find the truth myself. Indeed, in his last sermon, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, I'm leaving this book to you. And I think that is our responsibility to individually understand Quran and do the right thing. Quran is a beautiful document of pluralism, of coexistence, how to live with each other, how to know each other and mitigate conflicts and nurture goodwill. To me, if I define Muslim, it's a very simple definition. A Muslim is someone who mitigates conflicts and nurtures goodwill. Prophet Muhammad in his 15 examples this was what he did. In everything he did, you can see a mitigation of conflict and nurturance of goodwill. I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> no problem.